Right, guys, you gotta see this video because I promise you the level of mental gymnastics involved in it are up there with the very best of them. Plus, watching our parasitic class perform in Orwell's doublespeak for all to see is always comedy gold. So let's see Osama bin Starmer do it for Muslims here. This Islamophobia Awareness Month comes at a deeply troubling time for Muslim communities across Britain. We've seen a devastating rise in Islamophobia, leaving people feeling fearful and unsafe in their own country. Now, the fact he said that with a straight face, I have got to applaud because claiming Muslims are scared to do anything here is the biggest pile of bollocks I've heard in a while, and obviously that's saying something. I mean, let's be honest, we only have to go back a few days to see shit like this that actually proves him wrong. <laughs> Yeah, Osama bin Starmer, they look fucking terrified, don't they? But you know what? Please tell me more about the poor oppressed Muslims, you absolute fuck pig. Of Muslim families being abused as they leave the mosque. Hate crimes are deeply damaging, both for every affected victim, but for communities. And we all bear a responsibility to do all we can to stamp out hate. Now he's just taking the piss. Imagine saying we need to do all we can to stamp out hate while you claim victim status for a group constantly spewing hate. What a wanker. Shit, they're only just behind the mainstream media and maybe lefties on that one if you ask me. Obviously though, the mental gymnastics being used here are shit rod levels of stupid, I think you'd all agree. Pandemic. I guess you have got to love a politician's ability to stand there with a straight face talking bollocks like he is. Obviously though, he doesn't give a toss about the truth because he's pandering to his Islamist base after they shit the bed over him supporting Israel last week. Shit, he even admits it later on when he pays homage to the real masters of the Labour Party for all to see. As leader of the Labour Party, I am indebted to the contributions of Muslim members, activists and politicians who make our party what it is today. Oh yeah, the Labour Party's beholden to the imported population and this tit just admitted it. You know, it was actually that clip there that made me decide to start calling him Osama bin Starmer and thinking about it, I might have to start calling the Labour Party the Levant Party as well. I think it's more accurate. Anyway though, guys, for now that's enough of this one here. So as always, thanks for watching the video. Links are down below and I'll see you all in the next one as will this Pons. Pandemic. Pandemic. We're off.